Core value number four, I look at it as the fourth pillar of our worship community. We have been called and commissioned by God to build a community whose number one priority is to minister to him. Referring to Upper Room again, if you watched the last video about five or six years ago, I was visiting Upper Room, had no idea anything about the church. We were actually there for a, a conference for a different church, and then Sunday morning we just decided to stop in at this little church that we had heard of called Upper Room. And Sean Foyt was speaking at this church and sharing about meeting with the underground church leaders in Saudi Arabia. Um, and he shared about these underground church leaders risking their lives and spending days gathering together where there was no teaching, there was no anything except worshiping the Lord. And he said he walked into these rooms where these church leaders were gathering together out in the desert at this secret wedding venue that they had rented out simply to worship, and they were just on their faces weeping before the Lord and beholding him. At the end of the message, I was rocked by the Lord. I was on my face weeping, not knowing what was going on for, I don't know how long, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. And somebody from the front prayed and said, the Lord is marking some of you to see what's happening at Upper Room. I mean, they've done an incredible job of creating a resting place for the Lord, of establishing worship and prayer morning, noon, and night, creating a place where ministering to the heart of God is the primary activity of their community. And so that somebody from the front said, the Lord is marking some of you to see what's happening at Upper Room happen in your cities. And so that was years ago. I knew that the Lord was going to bring me into a community where our primary goal is to minister to his heart and to build a resting place for him. And so about two years later, I got involved in, in 420. Matt and Jeff had established 420 as an international missions movement. We all went down to Upper Room to just be refreshed and to spend time in the Lord's presence. And while we were there, we had one of the pastors on staff prophesy over us and say, God is going to halt all of your travel in 2020, and he's calling you to create a community in Indianapolis instead of going to the nations, where through that community, God will impact the nations more than if you spent the rest of your lives going to the nations. And although we didn't really believe him at first, 2020 hit, we no longer could travel anywhere. And since then, we have been building a community, and we've had so many prophetic words about creating a resting place for the Lord here in Indianapolis that then will impact the nations. So we have been called and commissioned by God to create and be a community whose number one priority is to minister to him. And so our mission is to minister to the Lord and to live out the gospel every day. And this is why 420 exists.